So today we've got a 2016 Hyundai i20 with 80,000 miles on the clock. The car's in for a service today and as part of the service we're going to be changing the spark plugs. So the spark plugs on this engine, like a lot of them now, underneath the plastic cover here in the top. So we'll just remove that. Eight millimetre bolts. And there we have four HT leads. So you can see the four HT leads numbered from this end, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to remove this HT lead off of uh, cylinder one, just give it a bit of a twist and a pull, and it should unpop like, just like that. Dangle that out of the way. The exhaust isn't hot on this, so I'll just lay it down there. And you'll see the spark plug is um, down a fair way in there. So I've got a, an extension and a spark plug socket. That's it. One spark plug. Looks a little bit black. Um, he said it hasn't they haven't been changed for quite a long time, so it's probably well overdue. So I'll dispose of that and uh, get a new plug. So you can see the plugs, the new one and the old one side by side there. Um, you can also see um, the washer. It's actually a collapsible washer, so you know when you do it up tight, that makes a nice good seal. Um, I like to put a little uh, dab of grease on the thread of these, a bit of uh, copper slip. Don't have to do much, just a little bit. Just helps to ease the plug in and back out again in the future. And another thing to check, these do come pre-gapped, but um, just make sure all four spark plugs have got the same gap. Uh, they can get dropped and squashed up, but you know it's very rare that you come across that. But just make sure the gaps all look the same. If you've got some feeler blades, you can look up the gap size or look in the owner's manual. You might find it. So I'll start this by hand. Nip that up. And pop your HT lead back on. You should feel it or hear it. Make a little click. I did feel that go home, so that's uh, correctly seated. I'll carry on and do the other three. Exactly the same procedure. So all the spark plugs are now changed. All the HT leads have clicked home. They're seated correctly. All the leads are clipped back in. I'm just going to fire it up before I put the cover back on. Hopefully it should run nicely. Yep, that sounds good to me. No misfiring, seems to run nice and smooth. So we'll just put this cover, this trim back on the top.
So that's the spark plug change done. I've got the old plugs here on a piece of paper so you can see. That one looks fairly normal, as does that one. But the other two, I think you can see they're um, slightly burnt out. Definitely well overdue a change. Um, that would create a spark that isn't as strong as it should be. You might get a bit of rough running, possibly a small misfire. And I would imagine it's going to use slightly more fuel than it should do. So good idea to get your spark plugs changed as and when the manufacturer recommends, really. Well, hopefully that's um, been of some help to you. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video's been of uh, some help for you. And if it has, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It will help our channel out. No end. Cheers.